Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Sagittarius. Happy February 2021. So today we will read about money and career, career and money. The both are interrelated. Uh, we will spread 10 cards. You guys may be familiar with the spread, but if not, I'll say the first two cards, Sagittarius, relate to a question which we are trying to puzzle, being a general reading. This, the third is about activity you are doing in the meantime to achieve an immediate result. The fourth is about the result you're trying to achieve in the immediate term. Position five, we talk about an asset available to you. Position six, we talk about an opportunity or how it may arrive. Position seven, we get your outlook on the situation. And position eight, we talk about timing. Nine is about purpose and 10 is about potential possibilities. So remember, I say it's a general reading um, for you know what, Sagittarius, take it with a grain of salt, guys. Sometimes the notes do resonate, sometimes not. What I try to do with my readings is make them practical and make them, in a way, something that you can follow up on uh, if it resonates. Okay, so in the general sense, let's turn and see. And of course, prior to me turning any card, the assumption here is we're looking at career development, we're looking at financial growth, we're looking at growing a lot of our uh, material resources. Okay, first card, what did we get? We get the death card. El transformation. Okay, the transformation. So let's see what else we get. But from that card, I could already pitch a few uh, potential, you know what, stories. But we need a few more so we can make, you know what, some sense with it. But however, beginning with the death card, as if to say a whole new transformation. We're looking at a transformative approach. And this is it, guys. And here's your Ten of Pentacles. So a completion of a cycle, a new transformation. Very, very inspired. When we talk about wands, and I invite you guys to watch some of my videos. I'll link them uh, about how to read tarot practically. One thing I say about the wand element is it touches your spirit. It's how upbeat you may be. At the same time, we're dealing with the number 10. So a completion or a new beginning. We are talking about a new beginning due to a completion. That's interesting. So it's as if to say Sagittarius has ended a phase and looking to begin a new one. All right. Um, very general, but very, very specific to transformation, to finding something new. So a new beginning is definitely something we're going to be developing here based on what we got, guys. All right. Position three, what are we doing currently, Sagittarius, in the immediate term? Okay, the Page of Swords. Pages are new paths, okay, a new direction, a new... So, the transformation part with the Ten of Wands, and now we have a logical, methodical Page of Swords, who is fact-finding, if you will. So, this is what appears to be happening in the immediate term, fact-finding, uh, seeking guidance, looking for potentially uh, some mentors to support this page on the building that they are doing. What I like here about what you are doing is that it's a, it's a strong energy. This is a court card, so we could have gotten numbers, but we got a page instead, which says the path is established in a way. Uh, you're on a path. Now, what you do on that path with that page's energy is very, very important. Now, that page is trying to achieve the confidence, achieve the uh, overcoming of several obstacles. So I don't know what is leading this transformation here, Sagittarius. Now, it could have been something outside of your control a little bit, but I don't see it this way. So uh, it could be that you are rearranging the entire workhouse, the entire uh, money house as well, with a new approach, with a new understanding a new beginning, it's as if rebirth, okay, regeneration. And then we have confidence as a result. We're trying to get uh, to feel good about the new beginning we are having to deal with. Now, so far, so positive, but let's see what else is being called on Sagittarius in the way of an asset available. And that is the Three of Swords. So how creative do you get about managing this transformation. Uh, Three of Swords suggests to me that you do have, okay, the energy of that page working for you, but at the same time being factual, 
um, having learned, okay, we're going to get creative, but having learned from past lessons as well, and we're going to stick to what truly makes sense, Sagittarius. So there's an airy element here. Uh, there is the get a fix on the goal. There is the uh, be focused, paying attention to a particular subject from you know A to Z, being factual about it, guys. That's an asset. Now, creativity comes as well when you are working with facts, when you're making assumptions based on falsehoods, then there's no creativity. That's a dream here. But when you are dealing with facts, developing ideas based on facts, based on how sharp uh, you may be, uh, it's an asset. It's considered an asset. Now, I'm going to develop this a little bit further. And I've been doing this lately at the beginning of the year, guys, just because it's a new year. It helps to reconsider and consider assets that people have available to them, skill sets that we maybe, you know what, have neglected or even taken for granted. So Sagittarius, three more cards on assets available to you. And here's one, and here's two, and here's three. And what do we have? Now we have the strength, okay? So the strength, the ability to build trust, the ability to have, you know what, your inner strength checked in a way uh, as if to say power perceived as power achieved there's so many ways that we can relay our strength that we can relay our uh, determination communication here appears to be something that works well for you in the image here guys we can derive the idea that someone has so much strength yet they're able to use it wisely okay uh, and I tie this to communication. So that is something I hope that is going well for you. People know what you're capable of, but you do not have to use uh, a threatening posture, if you will. And you do mind body language. It's all communication, guys. Creativity now, we're saying is an asset based on facts. Now, another asset is uh, gaining confidence. Okay, so you've gained confidence in the way that you've organized and that you are organizing your thoughts. It feeds well with me that we have a seven of swords here. Again, it connects with the being creative on a factual basis. That's what we're seeing, swords here. All righty, seven of swords. Again, confidence in the area of uh, relaying information, confidence in the area of reporting on things. Depends on the type of job, on the type of role that you do. But your, shall we say, communication approach is becoming very, very Factual. That's something I'm seeing here. One more asset, guys, is the uh, air of completion. You have a 10 of cups here. So the idea that you can uh, get so passionate about a project, about a new beginning, about the new path you're about to be on, and take that passion and work with it to a satisfactory completion. So one thing that we say here also is a good skill, is a good trait, is because this is a water element, I am going to suggest that as determined as you are to achieve a particular plan or to follow certain steps, you appear to be also flexible, somewhat able to maneuver if change does occur. So far, so good. So a new path we're on, transformation is happening, a brand new beginning, overcoming of obstacles, being creative. And now we have areas where we say knowledge of how to complete knowledge of how to build trust bridges even as we display our authority our powers etc etc okay position six let's see what kind of an opportunity or what may bring an opportunity okay more swords queen of swords so the ability for you to dissect facts the ability for you to be analytical and the queen of swords here focuses on minor minute details you will see an opportunity when you analyze sharp, true facts, sharp, true facts. OK, and uh, it's really the devil is in the detail, but the upper so is the opportunity. The opportunity is in the detail energy of the Queen of Swords. You can't fool her. You just can't fool her. She is so alert. She's so in tune. She is so sharp. And I'm going to say it one more time. Communication. Sharpness of communication is something that is popping up here. I'm taking here the skill set that we are able to softly communicate as we display power. But I'm going to remind again that one of her traits, I used to say that even when I used to read with Ryder Waitsmith, 
surgical in use of words, especially facts, okay? So we just mind that, but we have empowering energies. So far, logic, power, completion is working with you. I have two tens here, okay? I have four sword, you know what, numbers here. A three, a seven, a page, and a queen. And the energy of transformation and the energy of overcoming of obstacles. Right under it, we have the strength card as an asset. Okay, how do you see the situation now? Position number seven, what's your outlook on the situation? Looking to continue being inspired, but to stabilize it. It's as if to say you're looking to start something. Now, how interesting is this? The number four invites the thought of stability, but I am going to say to you that for some reason, I have a sense of urgency here. Because the drive for this transformation, something may tell me, partly on your side, but also maybe, maybe, uh, take that with a grain of salt, maybe something is also outside of your control, pushing for that immediate transformation, starting from, not from scratch, but rebuilding and so on and so forth. So your outlook is, you're, wa you're likely watching a lot of changes taking place. You're likely investing a lot of effort, you're getting creative, and you are hoping, if you will, for the situation to give you some breathing room to stabilize. This is all good, guys. This is the marathon runner, okay, who has spent maybe 80% of the, you know, of the journey, who has gotten their pace, who knows how much is left, and is just hoping for the end to come. This is what I see with this four of wands stabilizing the situation so that we may evolve and develop in other areas but so far very very encouraging okay a note about timing guys if there is a number you may take a number but let's see what we got i love it so that's a 10 of okay 10 of sorts how many tens did we get for you sagittarius this is number three if we end up with the pentacles then that's something neat but the 10 of swords is the timing what does marwan say about swords facts and the plan you were trying to create here and the opportunity that this queen of swords would also watch for and look for and identify it may be hidden but you get completions guys there's new beginnings completions new beginnings creativity overcoming of obstacles so your timing 10 10 days 10 weeks 10 trials 10 resumes 10 offers something related to the number 10 yet completion the energy of completion and new beginnings is all around us here in this reading. You are working on some kind of a transformation. The cards suggest that, guys. Okay, purpose. <clears throat> what did we get? Okay, swords again for you, Sagittarius. But this time, it's quite clear. You're looking for your status. You're looking for uh, the Knight of Swords status, if you will. You have all the traits, all the skill sets. That can put you there okay that queen of swords here has the best of analytical abilities has the look over this again read that line through whoa, whoa, whoa is that something here that you can tap into is there a need here being identified is there a gap analysis that you did okay the queen of swords that you can identify opportunities i speak to you guys with those terms because you're smart people. You're all smart people. You're looking to improve. If you clicked on my video, if you're still watching, you're probably into the practicality of things. So again, amazing. It's all about the status. It's all about what's right. There is fairness also in the element of swords so that what you get is, you know what, commensurate with what you give. Possibilities and outcome overcoming of obstacles and the feeling of harmony so here's a six of cups here's the i've persevered but now because i've persevered i'm in a very very good mental physical emotional space i mean a manifesting if you will uh space of mind or area and that's a good place to be guys and for a possibility i like the fact you guys know the definitions how i say things overcoming of obstacles or perseverance and we can add so much more to the fact that this is a cup element potential satisfaction potential harmonious energy warm and fuzzy environment that allows sagittarius to manifest a dream 
We began this with a major transformation. We're ending it with we are persevering. It's all in your hands, Sagittarius. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys liked today's reading. Would love it if you would comment and subscribe. You guys have always been so supportive, so loyal. And I want you to know we do love you madly. Bye for now, guys.